guys it's chantel cw for the moment network and i'm here with socrates hey we are so grateful to be talking to a canadian legend on the 50th anniversary of hip-hop so i actually just wanted to know what is the meaning behind socrates because it is such a powerful name oh um i mean i i, I chose it i play i grew up playing soccer let's just put it put it briefly and the second to Pele in Brazil was Socrates, who played midfield. Yeah. He also is a PhD oh. okay. uh, in medicine. Um, and he was so strong in the midfield. And I grew up playing soccer. I woke up one morning, I think it was about 15, 16. I said, I'm going to change my name from A Major. A Major? Oh, wow. That is a sick. Yeah. You no, know, playing, right? Mm -hmm. A Major scale. Um, changed it to Socrates and went back to sleep. Yeah. Oh, and went, just went back to sleep? That's it. That was it? That was it. It didn't and even take And it's based any... on the soccer player. Now, what's interesting, obviously, I mean, my poetry can lend to philosophy and mm -hmm. street codes and whatnot. So I respect the philosopher, but um, I'll go with Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned in an IG post that hip-hop has been the soundtrack of your life. Can you share with us how hip-hop has impacted your life? That's not true. All music has been the soundtrack of my life. That's why that's why I can enjoy hip hop because I don't need it alone. Yeah, it only exists as long as I have everything else. Mm -hmm. So music on a whole has impacted my life. Uh, thank you to my family, extended family, growing up. It's in your DNA. Yeah. But what's cool is my family and extended family and house parties and all of that. They didn't restrict their taste to just one genre of music. Yeah. You know, like Trinidadian, there's soca all day. It's just soca, yeah. Kaisu That's all day, right? Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Jamaican, But I can't take it all day, Jamaican, all day. Yeah. My parents are Guyanese, and what happened is, I mean, the biggest thing out of Guyana is Eddie Grant. Mm -hmm. We're going to rock now to <laughs> Electric Avenue. <laughs> yeah. And then we... There you go. Anyhow, so it's in the... Cl it was uh, more... Uh, diverse collection yeah. of music that I've grown up with. So you get the rock, classical, Afro, jazz, hip hop. Uh, a mix of things. I'm, yeah, I'm missing a few, but um, yeah, it's not just hip hop. What would someone be surprised that you are into like certain kind of music that they wouldn't expect? Oh, well, I mean, I think the whole world knows that I grew up playing classical music, mm -hmm. but I listen to, I, I don't, on the, on the, when I'm in the car, it's only two things I'm listening to. One is 91.1 .1 Jazz mm -hmm. FM. Yeah. And once I get bored of that, I go to 96.3 Classical. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's it. Those All two. day, every day. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm in the mood for hip hop, then I go home and play, relax your mind, let your conscience be free, get down to the sounds of your PMD. But you should be quiet while the MC rap, and if you tie it, then go take a nap. <laughs> you just got them. Right out. EPMD. Yeah. Yeah. And you've worked with artists such as Nas and worked with Common and Cardinal Official. Yeah. Can you share with us any funny or interesting moments when collaborating with an artist in the past? Uh, Nas is cool. He's quiet. Mm -hmm. One thing one thing I, 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 I missed about that was I didn't get to see him record his verse for heaven. Yeah. But we got to hang. Me, him, Salam, Remy got to hang mm -hmm. for a few hours and he got to see me record. So sharing that level of respect with a legend like himself, yeah. awesome. Uh, who else you mentioned? Common. Common is awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we paid him, but we flew him up. We were at 306, Gadget ran the session. We, I, I, I had Cardi there, you said Cardi. Yeah. And he said, like, Cardi, I'm gonna need you there just in case we gotta do the hook, Yeah. right? Help me with the hook. He's like, yeah, got you. He always had me on the hook. Yeah. He fell asleep on the couch at six oh. o'clock in the morning. And he woke up him. and he's like, <laughs> Really? At 6 a.m.? Yeah. Me and Common doing this. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play this, <laughs> y'all. Play this. Play it. That was it. Yeah. He's like, really? <laughs> He's like, nigga, you was asleep. Pardon my French. It's... You were asleep. <laughs> so yeah. that get Common and Cardi in the same room. Uh-huh. At Studio 306. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, like 1997 or 98. Gosh, 6 a.m. But it's cool, man. And he ordered an all-cheese pizza. I'd never heard of that. Never? Common ordered an all-cheese pizza. I'd never heard of it. Is but that not Chicago. common, like, in general? You've hmm? never heard, like, cheese pizza? Oh, yeah, people? it's a real thing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a real yeah, thing, yeah. Especially in New York. You go to, you go, you get that, that thin crust, all-cheese pizza. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's only, like, $2 a slice. It'll save been. your life. 
It's the one thing that you have to do when you're in New York. Pizza. Yes. And we really love the new t-shirts that you and Mark Stoddart have been getting out. Yeah. Oh. And he's huge in the community. Yeah. That's especially my big with brother. Rise and all of that. Mm -hmm. So That's an OG. Shout how, out to Corrupt. Yeah. How did that collaboration come about? Well, I've known him for so long. I can't even remember mm -hmm. how long I've known uh, Corrupt. Yeah. Mark Stoddart. Um, and he's so compassionate. He is. Yeah. Uh, he's a great that puts him in a great position to teach others. He's a mentor for he's, he's Randall. He's a great mentor. And not, not necessarily yeah. for me, because my mentors were there. He was just like kind of always in the right place at the right time with opportunities. Yeah. And um, doing it his way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've stuck together. He did uh, Big Black Lincoln mm -hmm. cover art yeah. work. Uh, he did season one mm -hmm. album cover art work. Um, it's actually Rec from Vancouver who did the artwork for the for the T-shirts. Oh wow! Uh, Corrupt has given me the opportunity to put it on his website so we could yeah. sell it online. Oh, okay, so that's what right. I'll and it's kind of a about. collaboration, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but because we know we know each other for so long, he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, dude, done. We're just charging an extra eight bucks for shipping and handling. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. but that's the, that he's he's literally family. One of my OGs. He's great at keeping contact with people too. He'd be knowing. So, he deserves like, it, man. Hello, so, hello. Humble, yeah. so humble. So um, humble. That's the only way to go. Like, I actually learn how to shut up sometimes by hanging with stoic folk like that. Very profound yeah. things that come out if you just listen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they last forever. It's true. Yeah. yeah. And CBC recently shared seven of your hit songs. Oh. Do you have a favorite one out of the seven? No. No, okay. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I was like, you know what I really I'm like wondering. performing? I think I've answered this question before, but what I really, really love to perform when it's like, oh, man, we on the, we on the way mm -hmm. is all of you, Big Black Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And I get the opportunity to dedicate it to my lady. Oh. Every time. It's the one that you go jewelry shopping with. Ooh, I'm getting mm -hmm. choked up. I'm getting That's choked so up. <laughs> but Clem, you know what? Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Here's the topic. Yeah. The sky is beautiful. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay. All of you. Yeah. It's probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I get to do that, and it kind of comes full circle, because, you know, it's family first. Yeah, you know? that is so sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you've seen Drake growing up in the scene. Do yeah. you have any one memorable story about the upcoming of his career? Um... One thing I love about Drizzy is probably the first time we met, we didn't even meet. Everything else was cool. Yeah. All the way through. Like, the kid is consummate professional. He was ready to blow. Mm -hmm. You could see that. Yeah. You know, so he didn't really have to do much other than say, hey, here are the keys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go, go. Do go what up, you want. Go explore, create. Yeah. Here's yeah. 40. You know, here's Noah. Before mm -hmm. he's 40. Go, boys. Go. I'm mm -hmm. out of town. But the coolest thing is um, the first time I met him, I didn't get to meet him. I was in the studio working with Boy Wonder for the first time, yeah. D10, Voice Alexander. I brought King Rain with me. Mm -hmm. I brought my uh, puppy, Shih Tzu. Okay. What's her name? Her name was Dana. Okay, Dana. This is a long Shout time out to ago Dana. Now. Yeah, yeah, Dana, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, two, four Heineken. <laughs> a couple gallons of vodka. All right. Something like that. Sounds like a good time. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> You can't complain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and a gang of weed before it was legal. It was mm -hmm. great. It was yeah. great. And while we're doing all of this, putting a beat together, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Me and boy went, okay, we go. I'm like, sample this. And then this. He sampled. He literally sampled it. Yeah, when and producers built a beat. know, they he know. He built a beat yeah. around that. Then me and Voice Alexander start to get to writing on the hook. Mm -hmm. While King Rain is writing his verse, yeah. may he rest in peace, my brother King Rain. Mm -hmm. The whole time, there's this tiny little closet. It's a rat hole at Brimley and Lawrence, the studio. Yeah, people have died there, been murdered there. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. But there's this tiny little closet in the room we're in, and there's this, this uh, tall but skinny, light-skinned kid just sitting there, just hanging, yeah. just watching. Didn't say nothing. Just Didn't in interrupt us. Nothing. That was Aubrey. I see. So he saw all of this. He saw, he, mm -hmm. was, he just watched. And he said, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. We kept, you know, kept moving. Mm -hmm. You know, in, at that time, 
And then, you know, a couple of days later, I'd already heard his voice, but I didn't know it was him. Yeah. I'd heard his voice. I'm like, yo, we got to get him around. And a couple of days later, we end up at Slacker's studio. Mm-hmm. And I say, yo, you got to bring the kid over. And then, boom, there he is. It's like, yo, that was you in the closet? Right <laughs> there, sitting in the closet. That was you sitting in that, that was you sitting in that dark closet, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and he pulled up in the in the silver range with the purple interior. Yeah. I knew the kid had it going, yeah. which is awesome, right? Yeah. Awesome. So That's yeah, we'll leave it at that with Drizzy, and I'm so proud of him. Proud of them boys. They're yeah. doing great. They're doing great. Um, and I'm happy to have this opportunity here with you again. Yeah, thank you. And bringing it back, how do you feel about hip hop in its current state? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You gotta love it. Fair. Because kids love it, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And they, and, and I, I I endorse dance, right? If they're dancing, cool. If they're killing, it's some bullshit. But you get a little bit of both, right? We're yeah. used to that. Mm-hmm. Um. I I you have to love it. Yeah. So I do like it. I don't have to listen to all the songs, but no. I like the mm-hmm. energy and kids getting up and. That's nice to hear. It's having fun. Legend. Yeah. Yeah, man. Because that's the only way around it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You can't be mad at hip hop, man. Nah. Yeah. And anybody who change. is, is miserable. And yeah. misery loves company. They can go over there. That's true. You're such a positive person. You got to be. Yeah. That's all I got left. Hey, y'all. My name is Socrates. And you are seeing me on the Moment Network. Enjoy.